And joining me now to focus on this angle is prominent Jewish and Canadian Israeli businessman and philanthropist Sylvan Adams. Thank you so very much for taking the time to be with us here on this breaking news edition on I-24 News. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be with you. You've dedicated your life, made it a mission to strengthen and promote Israel's positive global standing by initiating world-class cultural, sporting, innovation, and even healthcare events and projects. You've also often referred to yourself as Israel's self-appointed ambassador at large. How difficult has that been during this war against Hamas? So, you know, I, I always wanted to show the Israel that I know and love, the Israel that I moved to as an Oleh, uh, as an Ole Hadash, and uh, the, is, the normal Israel, the Israel which isn't conflict zone, that is prosperous, uh, pluralistic, open, tolerant, demo fiercely democratic um, uh, Western society. And, uh, and unfortunately, there is no normal uh, right now in Israel, and uh, I don't know when the normal uh, can, can be reestablished. Uh, we are at war with a, um, with a vicious, sadistic, barbaric enemy, um, and uh, we must prevail. Now, your parents, as I believe, are Holocaust survivors. Your father fought in Israel's war of independence. Did you ever think on a personal note that you would ever be seeing events unfold like they have here in Israel? Israelis and Jews abroad calling this a second Holocaust and another war for the Jewish state's independence and very existence. So in the aftermath of the Holocaust, the world adopted a slogan, never again. Who would have thought that fewer than 80 years uh, following the Holocaust that we would be facing pogroms once again, like the one we faced uh, in, in southern Israel, uh, like the like what's happening, anti-Semitic attacks that are happening all around the world, the fact that um, Jews are are taking down their their mezuzot and 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 afraid to wear uh, kippot in, in in public uh, because of uh, rampant anti-Semitism. Who would have ever thought such a thing could be possible? But here we are in 2023, and this Hamas. This grace, this 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 horrific event, has actually um, un, uh, has has given uh, kind of an impetus to anti-Semitism, the anti-Semites to come out into the open, and we see them, uh, we see them, we we know who they are, and we 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 see how they behave. So so I hope that the world uh, is is uh, as appalled as they as we should be. Uh, I believe it's, that is the case. I, I, I speak to a lot of people. I travel a lot around the world, and, I, and I've gotten so many messages of support from people around the world. I know that the anti-Semites are there. I know that the haters are out there. I see the demonstrations, I, the, 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 the disgraceful uh, pro-Palestinian demonstrations, um, with, with, you know, replete with swastikas and all, all the horrific symbols uh, of things that, that, that are purely anti-Semitic. I know they're loud. I know. I know they're vocal. We see them. Mm. They're very active. But this, they, well, they, but the silent majority vastly, vastly outnumbers these people. And I know that we have support around the world. Uh, you're also a major and active donor to Save a Child's Heart. It's a humanitarian organization that provides life-saving cardiac surgery to children from developing countries, including Muslim-majority countries, which Israel does not have diplomatic relations, such as Lebanon and Syria. And they also assist countless Palestinians including, from the Gaza Strip. Yes, exactly, including so, from the Gaza Strip. My question, I have met, my question to you yes, is, will the organization continue with, these, with this mission while these are innocent children, and I'll point that out steadfastly, and not terrorists, there's been much uproar in Israeli society over the world-class assistance given to those in hostile nations. So I want to say that we are not like them. Um, we are... We are Jews. We practice tikkun olam. We have big hearts. And while it's true that uh, Hamas perpetrated these this terrible, terrible, terrible atrocities against uh, innocent uh, people, that indescribable atrocities, um, we we are we are we are positive, uh, optimistic uh, people. Uh, of course, at the moment. None of that is possible. But I, I believe that once the war is over, 
and the innocent people, um, the sick children, could anybody be more innocent than, than a child um, coming and coming, needing, needing uh, life-saving uh, medical attention? Of course, we're going to continue this program. Um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully those kids who go, go back to Gaza and they're and with their families, with their doctors, um, hopefully they've, they've, they've changed their, they've had a different impression uh, of Israel that maybe they spread uh, in their communities. And once Hamas, once we remove this um, cancer, which is Hamas, that is enslaving the Palestinians, uh, maybe, maybe, um, maybe we can develop a, a normal relationship with the people of Gaza. It's true that they're, they're being taught terrible things and they're being raised on hate and anti-Semitism and they think we are monsters. But having interactions with them and them realizing that we are actually, uh, you know, uh, a good neighbor um, and, and cousins really together, that, that maybe one day um, we, can, we can have a peaceful coexistence between our peoples. It's a, a very powerful message and hopefully one that will come forward when this is all said and done. Uh, I want to thank very much Sylvan Adams, a prominent Jewish and Canadian Israeli businessman and philanthropist for joining us here this evening. Let's pray for a good outcome. Thank you. For, a pleasure to be with you this evening. Thank you very much.